In this video, we are going to do two short examples on how to work with quadrilaterals. In the first example, we have the figure A, B, C, D. And we can identify A, B, C, D as a trapezium. Because one set of lines are parallel. Or an opposite pair of lines are parallel. And what we want to do is find values for x and y. First with x. x plus 58 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And these are called co-interior angles. We can use co-interior because the line AB is parallel to the line DC. And now I simply need to transpose the 58 to find that x is 122 degrees. Next we have y. So y plus 113 would also be equal to 180 degrees. And the reason again is co-interior angles with the line AB parallel to the line DC. Even though we are using the exact same reason, we need to write it again. Because this first reason states why this equation on the left is true. And that same reason also states why this equation is true. Remember, in geometry, we need to state why we can set up our equations like that with reasons. Now I can solve y by transposing the 113 degrees. In our second example, we have the figure DEFG, and we want to find the angle size of G. We don't have any other information except that angle G is 12x minus 110 degrees, and that angle E is 3x plus 25 degrees. Before we try and calculate the value of G, let us see what we have. We have the line DE parallel to the line GF. And we also have the line EF parallel to the line dg. This then satisfies the rules or the properties for a parallelogram. Remember, if two pairs of lines opposite each other are parallel, then that figure is called a parallelogram. One of the properties of a parallelogram is that opposite angles are equal. Therefore, we can set 12x minus 110 degrees equal to 3x plus 25 degrees. So I would say angle G is equal to angle E. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. That is the reason. Then I set 12x minus 110 degrees equal to 3x plus 25 degrees. I transpose the axis to the left and the 110 degrees to the right in order to find 9x equal to 135 degrees. And then I divide both sides by 9 and I find that x is 15 degrees. But we want to find the angle size of g, not just x. So I take the value of x and I substitute it into the angle size of x, which is 12x minus 110 degrees. And I replace x with 15. So then I have 12 times 15 degrees minus 110 degrees, which gives us 70 degrees.